Hi, I'm Eric Bjornstad once again with Bell Performance, and this is the Bell Performance video blog. At Bell Performance, our primary business is saving you money and making your life easier by solving problems. And one of the things we want to talk about today is something that's very problematic for people, uh, diesel fuel users especially, because diesel fuel tends to be stored in ways that gasoline is not. Um, with the advent of ultra-low sulfur diesel in 2006, when they took all the sulfur out, that made it a lot more likely that you were going to have microbes and bacteria and fungus that were infecting those diesel storage tanks. And when you get infections of storage tanks, it destroys the fuel quality, it destroys the investment that that company has made, which can be tens of thousands of dollars or more, um, and it causes problems in the vehicles, causes um, uh, plugged filters, a poor operation of the vehicles, it causes corrosion with the tanks. It's really a messy, messy business. And when that happens, you need a biocide to kill that and to get rid of that infection. Well, uh, one, when, when, if you talk to somebody who's old school, they oftentimes use the terms algae and bacteria and fungus pretty much interchangeably. Everything to them is algae. So, You'll get, uh, you know, one of our staff members at Bell Performance will go out and be talking to, you know, a customer or a prospect, and they'll say, you know, they'll, they'll, we'll say, you know, are you using a diesel fuel additive uh, to get rid of bacteria, to prevent bacteria? And they say, and they'll say, yeah, I'm, I'm using that, but I'm still having these problems. Why am I having these problems? And so we'll say, well, um, you know, and this will typically be an additive that somebody else makes. We'll say, well, what, you know, the person who sold you the additive, you know, what did they say? What did they say it would do? And they say, the, the, the customer will say, well, they told me it was going to fight algae in fuel. And the proper response to that will be, um, does the label say that it will kill bacteria? Will it kill mold and fungus? And many times, the prospect or the person will say, no, it just talks about fighting algae. Uh, in that little exchange, that's a simplified language, of course, but that illustrates one of the problems with, I guess, definitions with, with respect to fuel additives. Um, if you have a fuel additive that specifically makes a claim that it kills bacteria, kills algae, um, that by law is classified as a biocide. And a biocide is something that actively kills those things and as opposed to something that just changes the conditions within the tank such that it's less likely those things can grow. There is a difference. A, a biocide claim is essentially a pesticide claim. A biocide is a pesticide for fuel. They're very tightly regulated. It's very difficult to get one approved. You have to go through a long approval process, and, and that's good because you don't want every Tom, Dick, and Harry mixing up some biocide and trying to sell it out there because they have to be handled very carefully. They have to be manufactured very carefully. There have to be controls on where those things are going out in the marketplace. So, uh, first thing to remember, um, there's a difference between killing bacteria and just doing something like removing water and doing nothing else. Removing water is important. Removing water is essential to preventing bacterial growth, but it is not the only it does not guarantee that you will prevent bacterial growth just by doing that. So, if you use diesel fuel additives for stored fuel to protect stored fuel quality, make sure that you know exactly what that is claiming to do. You know, Bell Performance makes a wide range of diesel fuel treatment products. We've made these all since the early 1950s. We make DFS Plus, we make Lupro, we make Marine Diesel. None of those products are a biocide. They, uh, uh, they scavenge water, they prevent water from collecting, they enable it to be burned in the fuel. That changes the conditions in the tank that make it less likely that uh, bacteria and fungus will grow, but it doesn't necessarily guarantee that, especially with the advent of ultra-low sulfur diesel. Now, that being said, Bellicide from Bell Performance is a biocide, just like Biobor and Kathon FP are also biocides. Uh, we like to think that ours is the best, of course, and there's a lot of evidence that it performs very, very well when you compare it to Biobor and Kathon and some of these others, but Bellicide, if you have a storage tank that has an active 
microbial uh, infestation and and there are certain things you can do to to confirm that that's happening well then you need a bio side like bella side so if you have that kind of problem give us a call at the office we have staff members that will be very happy to help you. We'll walk you through the process. We'll educate you on exactly what's happening, what you need to do, because we uh, believe at Bell Performance that an educated consumer is the best kind of consumer. So, what have we talked about? Not all fuel additives are biocides. Uh, removing water does not necessarily guarantee you will not get a bacterial infection. If you have a microbial infection, you need a biocide specifically to treat and restore that that you know restore the conditions back to where you won't be having that problem anymore. Uh, if you'd like more information about this, you can go to our website, bellperformance.com. You can also go to wefixfuel.com. We have a lot of great information on there geared specifically for folks like you. Please come and check it out. Thanks very much for joining me today. I am Eric Bjornstad with Bell Performance and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.